Hey guys, today we're going to be learning about graphing horizontal and vertical lines. So here are a few examples of some horizontal lines. As you can see, when y equals zero, the line travels across the origin on the x-axis, where all values of y are equal to zero. And when y equals negative one, all the values of y equal negative one and make a straight line. And the same goes for y equals three, where all the values of y are equal to three. For vertical lines, instead of having all the y values the same, all the x values are the same. As shown, when x equals zero, all the x values are equal to zero. Same applies to when x equals negative one and x equals two. Now let's show you how to do a step-by-step -step process of how to graph a horizontal line. To do this, you have to graph all the points where y equals 2. So starting at 0, you go up to 2, then over to 1, and then over to 2, and so forth. So if, so if you connect all these points, you just draw a line through y equals 2. So let's do an example of a vertical line. So let's graph x equals negative 4. As we did with the horizontal line, we are going to start at 0. So go over to negative 4 on the x-axis and put 0. Then Let's try spraying out the points so the line looks a bit more drawn out. So, back to negative 4, let's go up to 3. And let's go down to negative 5. Connect these points, and there you have a vertical line. This can be confusing because when you look at the graph, the y-axis is vertical, but when y equals a number, it is a horizontal line. This also applies to the x-axis. When you look at the graph, the x-axis is horizontal, but when x equals a number, it is vertical. So just remember, say y equals 5. Although you might think it's a vertical line at 5, just remember that it has to cross through the 5 on the y-axis. And the same goes for the x-axis. If x equals negative 2, you have to draw a line that goes through the point x equals negative 2, which makes a vertical line. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Good, Good luck. luck.